Hello, how we doing? Tis I, Gigu, playing as a night elf. Frisky night elf. Well, I don't know, yeah, he ain't that frisky. I'm in like the corner position here from what I can see on the minimap, so probably going to be more defensive than frisky, I'd say. So we'll go with defensive night elf. Um, that's a good question from that guy. Plan? Pfft. What is the plan? What do I do? I don't know. Let's see what we got first. So we've got Night Elf. It's a good question to ask if you've got two Night Elves, because Night Elves generally can't be useful for much. So let's be specific about what we're going to do. I could just go straight to Shims. Hippo Shims. i just throw that out there. I wouldn't mind going Bears, but the main reason why I'm actually saying Hippo Shims is simply along the lines because he said... Oh, uh, I was going to say he'd be better. He'd then say go Bears. Me Bears then. No. But, um... I'm in a good position for shims. I'm in an excellent position for shims. If the enemy come to where I am, then they're smart. Because the person in this position is quite likely to take advantage of the fact that they're miles away from everyone else and are less likely to get harassed. Although, I wonder if I'm going to be eating those words soon. We'll find out. Make sure I get lots of moon worlds down, actually. Get at least one ancient up so I can actually build units for the team. If nothing else. But essentially, I'm going to be working on teching. Let's get those moon walls up. Yeah, that's good. I don't think anything can slip through there. Unit could. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. I think that'll do, actually. And I'll put the rest around here. And it should be relatively safe. Although, footmen... I'm trying to think when I'm building these moon walls, like what units can slip through here, and then can they get through the tree gaps? No there. And maybe here. I'll see what happens. If I get any bloody units slipping through, then I'll get practice. And I'll find out that way, the hard way. Let's um, make sure I can get towards a Merc. He's going Panda. I'm not sure what I'm going to go. Panda with the footies. Yeah, that could work. Keeper of the Grove and Princess of the Moon. So Night Elf's keeping it classic. I almost thought I was building two uh, altars there for a second. Because <laughs> I thought this one was the altar. I looked at that I was like, hang on a second. Oh no, that's just come up. Panda 2. We could do mass pandas. I don't know. What are we doing? What am I doing? There's one panda. Your building is complete. Hmm. I really don't... I don't even know what I'm doing. I just make it up. It's completely on the go. But I'll go panda. I don't mind. I can do panda with this. Panda's good. That will give me a little bit of um, anti-air power. Because saying that, you know, if I'm going shims, and if I, go, if I get lazy and don't make as many... Um, anti-air units like hippos as I should do then there's a good chance that I won't have much defense against other air units apart from the panda with um, his drunken haze and breath of fire. Now it's not exactly going to kill all air units but it's certainly going to be a good deterrent compared to various other heroes that I might have picked from the tavern. Uh, yeah, tech. Go tech. Go. Go go tech. Probably should have teched already but never mind. Not used to teching so fast, to be honest. Uh, da -da -da, that's all looking good. I can go around there. Archer's still spamming out. Loads of resources. Let's get one of those hunter's halls up. Lots of moon wells to use and abuse when needed. That's what I like. Might even get another one. Mm -hmm. Four, I'll go for... Yeah, actually, I don't need to. I can always get a merc. If not, I'll be alright with four archers. It's that axe. Let's get in here. Let's get you up there. Do, do, do. There we go. Let's go for the little buggers this time first. And then move on to the big guy. Mr. Panda. How you doing? Alright. Taking a beat. As long as someone doesn't gank me, I'll be okay. Because essentially, I'll want him to tank. Although the archers can take less damage from... Oh dear, I'm missing. Can take less damage from ranged units. Stop missing. Do you mind? <laughs> Well, uh, less damage from ranged units. The panda is essentially going to take the less, at least, because he's got that full on hero armor, and that's beastie. So essentially, I'm going to save the most moon world juice by making him tank. Hmm, upgrades. Well, at least that one. Work towards damage. Is this a full on one? It looks pretty full on. I wish I got a shot now, but never mind. This looks pretty serious. So, I'm going to get in on that. Can't tell at the moment who's who, but it looks 
Like a lot's going on. We're in a good position now. Imagine this. If they come into this. Lovely. <laughs> Look at all these archers. Covered here. Oh, this is a nightmare for the enemy. They just want to get back, to be honest. They're going to go well for them. Oh, I, don't know. I can actually block them up a little bit. I don't want my panda to get killed, though, so I'm going to be careful with him. Let's get you up there. Hide you. And all your ghouls are basically stuck now. So I could actually... I'm, I want to use all the lightning, but at the same time, I don't want to throw it away. So I'm just kind of... Holding on to that, everything's going fine in base, massive money. So whilst they're doing a full-on rush, I could build more archers, but at the moment, it looks like we're in a good enough position for me to be very greedy and basically save on those resources. And that Dreadlord is not going to be able to tank forever. Down he goes. Panda is just hanging in there. Back off a little bit with him because he's getting a bit of an arc. By that, I mean the enemy units are slightly surrounding him, so I, I don't want them to get much potential max damage. How's Blue doing? He's, oh, he's well alright actually, don't have to feed him any resources. Tech up, get those hippos going. Panda is leveled up twice since I've been slacking. Panda, just hanging back, not getting too greedy. Assessing the situation and it looks like the enemies are working on running away. Kind of blocking them in now. Ah, I'm not going to get that, but we will get a free kill here, and Panda has gone a little bit too far, but luckily I can move him back. Archers are way out in the open, because the enemy have actually turned around. I thought they might actually go do a full back, but they looked, they saw the opportunity to get a couple of kills on my archers, and they took it. The Basts, and I'm just going to go kind of real selfish here on Shims. I'm only going to get the one Ancient, and that should be enough, as long as I continue to make um, Hippogriffs with it, right from the very get-go. Shouldn't be an issue. And, uh, well, that's the assault pulled off. I mean, um, sort of defended. So, on paper, everything's good. Huh? I don't uh, I don't think we can take that. Probably... Anyway, I'm going to pimp up the panda a little bit. You better be tanking, then, if you're so confident on that. Uh, we can do it, but it's going to leave us a little bit crippled, so if they come back... Ooh, we're in trouble. What's Mr. Knight off doing? Yeah, he's building up to it. Come on, then, let's do this. Everyone's here. <laughs> My one archer of anti-air. See, it's not really going to work. Should be better off just fucking doing this orange spot. Ugh. This ain't gonna do it. Oh, ain't gonna do it. Like I say, it's not gonna happen. Upgrades going off. Hippogriff's gonna hide a little bit in the back. In fact, I might take one hippogriff, because at the end of the day, it's not gonna like throw alarm bells out. They're gonna see a hippogriff and go, Oh my god, he's gonna merge hippogriffs. Let's get tanks and all that. No. I mean, one hippogriff should be fine. Oh, the guy's not even coming with me anyway. What a bastard. What a git. What a git. That is real cuntish, that is. He took the fucking red spot because he knew he could, rather than come with me and do this. What a bastard. Well, that's teamwork for you right there. Upgrade complete. I should fucking run to that red spot, to be honest. In fact, I'm going to do that. It's too late now to get any decent experience, and he's fucked it up. Actually, no, it isn't. I'm going to go get full health, and I'm going to TP to him and take whatever experience I can. Hippogriff still coming out. Look, we can see worms, two undead. So the scout hippo is actually doing a great job. And here we go. Get a bit of experience here. Oh my goodness, loads of gargs. Okay, I really am going to have to step it up with a second ancient here. This is ridiculous. And I won't take the items because that would be a bit out of order, but... You know what? He did screw me over on that, so at least I'll take a bit of his experience. And I don't even think I'm going to be making that many shims. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> oh, they're going full out. These guys are... Oh, no, the human that goes Griffin Avery. Arr. Well, I ain't got much to TP with. How have they got so much, though, honestly? I don't know how they've done it. Why are you fighting outside the base? Stay inside base, maybe, versus two to three. I don't know. Another Seems like a good idea. I mean, I don't know. I'm not the expert here, but if you're against um, triple the amount of people that you are, you might want to basically give yourself the biggest defensive advantage you possibly can. Well, I can't do shit here, really. I haven't got the counter to that, but 
Fuck it. I always want to just wait until that comes out. I don't really want to waste the TP because then I can't afford anything. Ah, uh, the difficulties of it all. They have, they're not all there either. Look, yellow's up here, so... It should be, I don't know what, what the obsession is, is with fighting outside these bases when they're clearly outnumbered. This was a good base, we saw it, we proved it earlier how easy you could defend by sitting inside of it. Not outside of it. That's not helping anyone. And here we go, orange is out here as well. At least yellow's coming in now, so we can actually engage properly. Which shouldn't have happened. Oh my goodness, that is so many guards. But that's what the panda is for in a lot of ways. Because he's got the drunken brawler haze and all of that, so that's really good. Nasty pieces of work. Nasty, nasty. Many hit as I can get, but we'd want tanks more than anything. Tanks, please. Not fucking dragon hawks. One of the worst units, really, ever. And there's nothing to creep because it's all been taken. I think the enemy have been dominating this one. Really hard. They've, they've done well, to be honest. I'd be surprised if we win this. We kind of don't deserve to win this. From what I can tell. There's no good engagement to have. Because going into an undead base doesn't do anyone a favour. This bit. Keep an eye here. Try and creep this without getting screwed over. That would be nice. But it's up to the night. I'll pull them back, maybe. Or let Orange go in. More hippos, because we've got no real anti-air. Sort of got a little bit of anti-air here and there, but not quite the anti-air I'm after. Tanks, please. Tanks, 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 tanks. Free undead equals tanks. Ah, So many dragon hawks. I hope he uses those. I really do. He's got to prove me wrong and use those dragon hawks. And show me just how good they are. Oh, not going to get much of a kill here though, unfortunately, because he's TP'd out relatively quickly. Um, now let's go back up. Green's wasted a TP, so that's cool. Hey, how we doing, Mr. Statue? Not going to get much on you. More hippos, if you will. Get a bit of armor. So many gargs. One tank would pretty much destroy all of that. Oranges run back. This is a weird game. No one's really doing anything. Look, dragon hawks with no upgrades. Typical human. Why are humans so bad in RT? I don't get it. So many bad humans. They've got this obsession with going to Griffin Avery's for some reason. It's like the worst fuck. Play a different race if you're really obsessed with going tier 3 air. Look at this. Bats, they got so much. Where's those tanks that I asked for? Oh no, he's got an extra Griffin Avery instead. Well, this will be interesting. Go use those dragon hawks. Go! Let's see those dragon hawks. Let's see those dragon hawks. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, just meh. Get that panda on the guards, make my hippos a bit less fucking crippled. This is looking bad though. Oh, that orange has got shitloads of bats as well. Where were they? Go to work! What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? Come on, guys! What are you got bats for? What are bats used for? They're used for destroying buildings or blowing up air? There's no buildings here to destroy, so that leaves one logical answer. Blow up the air! Don't fucking attack ground units! And now I'm getting fucking arse raped. What the hell that's all about? Although, green might lose a lot of units here. So that'd be interesting. No, it's going to be yellow that TP's in. And another person's TP'd in, which seems a little unnecessary. But okay. Alright, well that's good. Cheers for doing that. Saved up a few wisps. But I don't know what 
yellow and orange were doing, the only person that should have TP'd in would have been, well, if orange had the bats, but he basically lost a lot of them. And now you're stuck. Because you TP'd with mass melee into an area there. Should I just leave? I'm kind of getting that feeling I should just leave. Ugh. Oh, I just fucking pressed the hotkey that's going to turn off all my other hotkeys now. Why do I have that one? See, my hotkeys don't work now. Fuck! Everything. I'll just fuck this game. Really bad. <sighs> now, if I press the hotkey, it does work. That's the first time it's ever done that. Otherwise, it basically permanently never works after that. But I'm actually going to come out and sort that now because I hate that happening. Where are we? Having a right old good time, aren't I? Uh, you can't change it. I'll just have to turn it off so I can't put it on in the first place. We're just waiting to lose, basically, this game. Pretty much just waiting to lose. <laughs> Look at those grunts. Chop the trees. We lost yet. This is such a one-sided game. I mean, it's so obvious as well. I mean, we saw they were going air really early on in the game. Really early on. One tank. One tank. Don't even build any more than that. One tank. You can count the entire enemy, enemy army. Fucking awful. These guys on the enemy team are so much better. So much better. This isn't even funny. Just keep hanging back. Don't get stuck in there. That's what they want. Hang back. Don't get greedy. All that goes are the bats. Are they being used yet? I don't know. Fuck this shit. Let's just go and lose this game. Some fucking had enough of this shit, to be honest. Uh, more hippos because no fucking decent anti air exists at the moment. Panda is actually doing quite well for some reason. He just hasn't been focused that hard. We've got two high level pandas, but then again, we're getting a bit raped now. If I can get away without getting nuked, not gonna happen. I've got nuked because there's so many undead. Nova, Nova, Nova. Coil, coil, coil. At least one of those options out of six could happen at any point whilst I was trying to TP. Yeah. We're kind of hanging in here, but this isn't what I want. I just want this game over with. I'm really not having a good time when you've got such an obvious thing that one of your allies should do. And they're not coming through. And they're fucking it up massively. I mean, the enemy do not deserve to be having that hard time here. They should have finished this, like, five, ten minutes ago. Harsh. So much nuke. So much nuke factor. One of my hippos. There goes another one. Can't really get any units back into the game here because I have my mine nuked by an undead in my base, which is unusual to say the least. It's all right though. He's going tanks, eventually. I just need to pure mass hippos. If we, if I can get like at least 12 hippos, the next fight we have might actually be like an instigive fight where we totally and utterly rape them. Because you really need that critical amount of mass anti-air. I mean, purple switching to destros, which ain't going to do much to be honest against hippos now. He's losing a few of those gargs. Blue's doing a great job continuing with the dragon hawks, which clearly weren't working in the first place, and he can't even use them. Uh, <laughs> Orange has dragged them to Blue's base. I'm quite happy about that actually. Look. Go! Go, Dragonhawks! Go! Yeah! One destroyer down. He's actually in, ironically, a fairly good position here, Blue, to kill. But, um, <laughs> it's just... He's not trying. He's not doing anything worthwhile whatsoever. He's just getting somewhat semi-lucky because he's got his expansion. Doesn't deserve that, but he's managed to keep that. He's managed to keep his Dragonhawks. Yeah, it's just... What is this guy? He's just super lucky shit noob. I don't know. I think everyone gets them in RT games, and this is one of them. Oh, 
Don't use too many bats, boy. Save some of them. He's getting a bit carried away with throwing those bats out. Anything else for me to kill? Got to remember, we've got to bring their heroes down. I mean, Blue's doing a great job with this panda. That's about the only thing he's done. Maybe that's why. He's put so much focus into that panda. He's fucked up on everything else. I don't know. Oh, they don't like that guy. Have you run out of nukes? He has. I'm just going to get an orb for the sake of it. It's not the best orb, but I want an orb. Orange is doing nicely. Oh, level 6. I was going to use it, but I still wanted a nice breath of fire because I had a lot. Look at the damage I'm getting out of that. That was a lovely bit of damage there. And I have another drunken brawler if I need to use it, which I will use it so that the Blade Master can catch up with the Lich. And hopefully this will be a kill. Yes. Oh! Nice little crit there! How much did that hit for? Blimey! Hippo's going to work. Should hopefully be able to get that frosty before anyone else stops it. Keep an eye out for bats. There's going to be bats or something coming out of that. So be careful. Uh, yeah, there they are. There they are. Oh, no, I can't kill him in that amount of time. He was too quick on the ball there. Bring the hippos back. Maybe... Got to be careful of my surroundings. Don't get too carried away with Mr. Panda. Don't want to lose him. I haven't got the mana to get out. Because Storm Earth Fire, I see as more of a sort of get out a shit scenario. Um, doing good here for Moon Wells, so I'll soak all of those up. More hippos coming out. Not bad on the upgrades. I would want more. Well, very good on the upgrades. I'm only missing one, basically. I can't believe Blue's got away with this. Has he got those tanks yet? By the time he probably builds them, there won't be any air units. Oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. I've got a nice amount of hippos now. A nice amount of hippos. That's good. That's very good. I'm getting one of those to fight for the I'm dead. And a clarity potion to keep me going. Oh, yellow's got loads of anti air. As long as Orange doesn't lose anything, I think we're in this, because Orange has been doing a good job here. Yellow's not done a bad job, but I haven't really noticed him so much this game. He's definitely been doing work, but I haven't been covering it, that's all. And Orange, look, once again, on the mark. Very nice work there. He was just a bit trigger happy with the bats, it happens. Don't blow up too many bats, do it very gradually, but at the same time, with a pace. I don't know how to pronounce that better. And we shouldn't have really won this, apart from the fact that I did actually have some good allies this game. Strange, because I spent most of the game going, oh my god, bad allies. But mainly Blue. Mainly Blue dicking about. I don't know what he was thinking with a lot of his stuff. You're not going to beat my hippos. Come on, you wanted this? You're going to get this. Is Greg going to go into it? No. There's a bat there. Let's take Mr. Hippo. Put it on the bat, so he's forced to use that bat. Because I'd rather that bat goes on one hippo. Oh no, the gargs are going to get the bat as well. That wasn't going to work. Oh well. Ah oh, well. More hippos. More hippos. Ooh. Yes. Oh, you didn't want to do that. Because here comes the breath of fire. Oh! Oh, you cheeky little son. That was a good sleep. That was just before the breath of fire went off. That was going to be so good. I got so excited for that. And it was like, oh, no, I can't believe it. Well, this is definitely over now. <sighs> uh, I, there was no part where I was really useful in this game. Oh my god, my griffins now. What the fuck? Here comes the breath of fire. Finally going to get it off. My hippos are going to be good because at least the breath of fire has happened and we're going to use a level 6. Why not? Why not indeed? Go hard on that guy. Do a little taunt. Urgh, come back here. No, not going to work. Urgh. And Mr. Something Something. Can't really do much else. But the wing wolf. Maybe go in there. Probably throw up a little uh, fiend or two maybe. Are we going to throw up a fiend? Yeah? You want to get in range for that? Look at him. There he goes. He's quite close range. You have to be very close. Ooh, and down he goes. Yeah, the pandas were good. Pandas were good there. Like I was saying, right at the start of the game, if you don't have solid anti-air, pandas can 
you know, they can make a big difference with that breath of fire and haze, which essentially is why I basically never go to that level six. Because one, I'm not very good with it. I never use it, so I don't really know how to deal with the hotkeys straight away. Although I do know the hotkeys, but I just don't practice it. And uh, two, I just think an extra level on drunken, um, not drunken brawler. That's the uh, passive that you'll never go unless you get a panda to level eight. Um, uh, drunken haze. That's the one. I just think that's so good the level 3 drunken haze like to get level 3 over level 2 beats getting the one point in the level 6 I mean with mountain king and stuff like that it's straightforward you get avatar there's no question although his other abilities are amazing you still get avatar and level 3 stormbolt and level 2 bash but with panda it's really mm, that level 6, situational. For 1v1, probably better. But for big 4v4 fights, drunken haze, breath of fire on everything, you're going to hit a lot more targets. You're going to get more out of it. But, uh, yeah, I stayed middle of the pack there. I wouldn't say I was particularly um, amazing in that game or I had any real big impact, but at least I had the right units. Lots and lots of hippos. I didn't make any shims past the two that I already made. My biggest mistake was probably making one shim roost, let alone two of them. But I kind of got to that point where I was already aiming to get shims, so I should have just gone to one. I did want to be selfish and aim to that, because I was kind of hoping that someone else would carry the anti-air. Blue. But he didn't. So, um... That's so unjustified. Look, Blue got second highest. What is this? <sighs> <laughs> I don't even need to say anything. You watch that game. What? What? What was that? Right, thanks for watching. This has been Willy. Don't forget to put a like because it helps out the videos. And, uh, yeah, see you later.